Becca. I'm here with a card. Um, this card is for my friend's wedding. and She's getting married on the May long weekend. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel, you probably saw that I'm in the process of making a bunch of scrapbook layouts uh, for her wedding gift. I'm making a scrapbook album so she can put all of her um, pictures in for the day. Um, and I just needed a break from doing layouts. I kind of having a block right now of what I want to do next and I have three layouts left and I know I want like I know what the themes I want to do I know I want to do like a, a cut the cake one and I know I want to do a um, bouquet toss for sure but um, I just am a bit stuck right now on how to go about doing those pages and how I want them to look so I took a break I made this wedding card um, I have been waiting for um, my sentiments to come in so I could finish it. Um, I use these Amy R stamps. I just got them from all that scrap, all that scraps, and I used wedding sentiments too, and I used to the perfect pair. And I'm really debating on whether or not I want to stamp one on the inside. The once in a while. Um, right in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. I'm tempted to put that one, stamp it on the inside, but I haven't decided yet if I just want to write a long note or if I want to put a stamp in. So I've cut all the stamps so they're bigger than they look on the, uh, on the picture, um, in the front. So I got this image from, uh, Pinterest, and I really, really like it. It's super cute. Um. I know she's getting married, but um, just to do a wedding dress is just white, and I just kind of, I didn't just want to have just like her dress would just be white, and it kind of felt boring to me, so I colored it purple because those are the colors, lavender and grape are the colors of her wedding. Um, I used my Shenhan Touch Twin Markers, and for the dress, um, I just kind of want to show like, that this color chart is really great because for the dress I use this um, pale blue 77 and pale lavender uh, 145 and um, as you can see they are not the same color as the dress at all um, her the, the colors are there so PB 77 and 146 so here and here and uh, yeah they don't they don't match uh, so I would never have known that these that this pale blue was such a nice deep purple if I hadn't done my color chart so that's what I did and then I used a bunch of different browns to do their hair um, she has beautiful uh, long brown hair and his is kind of a bit more blondy at least from the pictures I've never actually met her fiance because she lives in BC and I live here but um I kind of did his a lighter blonde and his hers a nice deep blonde then this um is a nice little wild orchid crafts open rose I think it's a 10 millimeter this lace is um I don't know if it's guy pier or goo pier I've heard it both ways I like to call it guy pier lace and it's from wild orchid crafts and I have that uh going through and then I put uh little gems and then I just have a bow here. It's kind of like a, I don't know what the, what the material is, but um, I just have it here, and I just like that. And then I have a bigger lace underneath. Um, then I have this paper, and I really like this paper. It's from uh, the six by six paper pad. We are memory keepers, so. That's where I got like the blue wash paper and then this little music note one that you see in the back is Melissa Francis. I think it's C'est La Vie. Um, and I teed inked everything with tea dye distress ink. I used um, this. You'll see this uh, purple in my album a lot. I really love this page. So and then um, this is To the Perfect Pair. That's the sentiment I decided to use. And um, I really like how that turned out and then um for the inside i used paper from it's called authentic freebird and it's got these really pretty lavenders and so for the inside um it just looks like this and it happened to be a lined paper which i thought was perfect um 
to use, so I have it in here, and I might stamp a sentiment, or I might just use the whole thing to write. I have not decided yet, but it's just pretty simple. This is a 6x6 six six card. Um, this is Wild Dragon Crafts. I want to say they're cherry blossoms. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're cherry blossoms. But that is my card, and um, there's a couple little dots of perfect pearls up here and down here, and I glittered her dress, and... Um, all that. But anyway, that's my card. I really like how it turned out, and um, I think that she'll like it. Um, it's, I don't know, I just really enjoyed doing this, and I really like the look of the coloring that I did, and um, it's all in grape and lavender, because those are her wedding colors. So, I hope that she likes it, and I hope that you guys liked it, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. Bye.